it is officially our last video here in Penang but we have one thing to say before we get on with it thing of Penang has been the people because they're always there to just help you and they say hi they're really nice so my favorite thing about Penang is the people I really like Penang because I love being my family and I really like Penang it's really nice here I mean it's nice and hot and you're never cold and I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. My favourite thing from Penang is definitely the weather. For the first time in my life, at 35 years old, I've managed to get a bit of a suntan. So thank you Penang for the weather. My favourite thing is probably going to have to be the food. Everything that I'm eating is so tasty and I don't feel, I don't ever feel really over full and I feel like in England, like I overfill myself and I sit there and eat all the snacks but here I'm eating really juicy, tasty food and I feel comfortable after so I'm definitely going to say the food is my favourite thing in Penang. For our last experience here, we went to visit the world's smallest national park and a turtle sanctuary, which we chose to get to by boat. We've just come off the beach and we've taken our shoes off and we've walked straight into the sanctuary which you don't have to pay anything for and there's just these baby turtles straight away as you come in and it's they're so small and so cute. We've just seen loads of baby turtles like there's some in there, some over there and look at this big massive one just right there just laying down with some baby. It has a beautiful shell as well and that's all for me. This turtle sanctuary was fantastic for the girls' world schooling session. They learnt so much and it was great to see the turtles. As an added bonus, we met the local park ranger afterwards who showed us some hermit crabs. Ones that like they change their shells all the time. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes he change. Yeah. Uh, he can be, he change. Like this one, like uh, their house. Yeah, so they change their houses. Uh, English, I, I don't know. Uh, but Malay called Uma Uma. So we have just come out of the turtle sanctuary. It's a little bit stormy, so we've like taken a bit of shelter. Um, but we are just about to go see the Miramictic Lake. I think that's how you say it. It's just round here, we're gonna go see it now. The girls have already ran off. Hopefully it's not gonna be too rainy for us. So the weather is just not clearing up. But we found the bridge and we found the lake. So we're gonna go up here and have a look up on the bridge. So 
so we've seeked refuge from the rain the incredible thunderstorms and we're in the middle like proper middle of the jungle right now you can hear the noises and it's just mad to be in the thick of a rainforest when it's raining we're getting wet we okay girls it's a bit wet isn't it we're trying to stay dry but wow my phone's just getting really blurred up because of the case it's so wet after an incredibly bumpy ride home we managed to make it back in time to spend the evening at the beach I don't know how I really feel about leaving Penang. I don't know. I'm excited to go on to our next journey, but I feel a bit like we really have settled and this has got everything that we need to. What do you think you'll miss the most though? I think potentially just like I said before, Penang, it's amazing. You've got the beach there, you've got the jungle there, you've got the mall there, you've got everything quite excessively close and I, I think it depends where else we travel if we get that again I yeah. love it that you can go for a whole day yeah. on the beach you can go get some fantastic street food yeah. you can go get some high class restaurant food and sit down and enjoy a meal it's and literally got everything on it yeah and then you can be in the jungle yeah. and like when we went to national park it literally felt like we're in the jungle I know, I know. like it was like there was no phone signal it's nothing. all within like such close proximity it's just been amazing for our family to start travel here and have that first experience bizarrely i don't really want to say this that i am not missing home at all. I haven't no. felt homesick once. I have felt homesick once. I felt, I felt a little bit overwhelmed with stuff. Yeah. I think at once, points. yeah, once or twice. I've just, but that's like the homeschooling, that's yeah. like pressure, that's, that's just life in general and sorting things out. Before we close out this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody in Penang for welcoming me and my family here for our first experience of our traveling journey. It's been such an incredible place. We've loved every minute of it. Um, and the past five weeks has really flown by. And that just shows you that we've had a really good time because time flies when you're having fun. We really didn't know what to expect when we got to Penang um, and we didn't know how the girls were gonna react, how we we're gonna settle in. Um, this is the very start of our traveling journey throughout the next year. Um, so we were quite apprehensive of how we were gonna get on, but it really has been the perfect start. Like I've said, we're right at the start of this journey. We've got the whole year ahead of us and we've got so many more places to go in Malaysia, which we're really excited for and then onto other countries so we really can't wait to just grasp as much as we possibly can so please make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay along for the ride to everyone who's subscribed so far and everyone who's followed our journey and supported us it's really made doing these videos really enjoyable and it's meant the world to us It's fair to say that we've soaked up everything Penang has to offer. The diversity here is incredibly unique and we've loved every minute of it. It's safe to say we'll be back for more.